Hey everyone, welcome back to Sweet Beat TV. I'm your host, Sienna Leone, and today I am so excited to say Jasmine Cooks and Josephine Scriber are joining me. Hi ladies, how are you? Hey. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Hi, you guys, I am so excited to talk all things Joja. I mean, first off, huge congratulations on your launch of your fitness brand. Oh, thank you so much. We are pinching ourselves. It's finally happening, like years in the make it, but oh, what, four days away now? Has it four days? Oh my gosh, <laughs> four days away. It's been a long, long journey, and but it's been a lot of fun. Absolutely. Now, you guys, I want to know more of how this idea of Joja came to be. Honestly, for us, it was like this shared enjoyment with the gym and just like finding motivation in each other that we wanted to share on online, and we instantly felt that there was like a like this whole feedback that was super positive. And we just kept building on this whole friendship and just making sure other girls felt that same way that we did. I was so genuinely impressed with how hands-on you guys were in this project. I mean, you guys kind of show that on your Instagrams, on JoJo's Instagram. So it's really impressive because, you know, many people put their names on something, but then you don't really see them really hands-on. But you guys, that's a whole different story. So my next question for you guys was, how was this design process and where did you get the inspiration for your designs? Well, I think it kind of got inspired by the community we we're with, like in, in the sense that we would always like kind of like swap our outfits mm -hmm. to wear my top and I wore hers just so like we felt that bond in the gym. And we saw people like kind of like adapt into that on the you know community as well. Mm -hmm. So that really was what inspired us to design these friendship outfits. Yeah, and I think it's just so much more fun when you can get up, put on an outfit, text your girlfriend and be like, hey, we're gonna work out today and no excuses because we're gonna wear like our cute matching outfits. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And honestly, I love working out with my girlfriends too, but you guys totally filled this missing space in the athletic wear space. I mean, I'm always searching for new cute outfits with my girlfriends. So now that, you know, you could be matchy matchy, but also like there's some things different from your outfits. I think you guys absolutely nailed it. Well, thank, you. thank you. I think it's also fun because especially through COVID and everything, everyone started to wear athleisure. Right. And, you know, there's the really basic or classic, classic athleisure that's just, you know, your simple top like this without the sleeve and your bottoms. We were like, maybe let's make half of our collection a little bit more fun. Like for the girl that wants to be a little bit more stylish. Obviously we grew up in fashion, so we wanted to bring that aspect to it and make it stand out a bit online just talking to you guys you guys are such beautiful best friends best friend goals as some would say but i want to know how did your friendship begin and evolve into being best friends and now obviously business partners <laughs> well i would say josephine and i met about 12, 12 years? years ago now wow. Wow. we didn't talk to each other no, it took a while ago <laughs> But we would always do fashion week and see each other backstage. Both of our moms would be backstage with us. I think we were probably the only girls that had their moms backstage. <laughs> but um, I would always be like, oh my God, that girl's so pretty. And my mom's like, just go like talk to her, be her friend. And I was so shy. I mean, I'm still a pretty shy person, but I was so shy. And we just never spoke until we started doing Victoria's Secret together. And there is where we found our bond over fitness because we were one of the few girls that like wanted to go and like lift weights and, you know, really like loved yeah, of course, and enjoyed like, date was like at the gym. I was like, how do I get that butt? Yeah, and then actually on set of a Victoria's Secret shoot, we were like, hey, let's do this really cool yoga pose that we found online. And that day we got the photo from the photographer left and sat in the taxi on the way home back to the yeah. city. And we were like, let's make a workout account. And then that's how it started, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> For the viewers at home, Jasmine and Josephine, explain to them what they're gonna be seeing in the Joja Goldfriend collection. First, we have our, in the Goldfriend collection, we have what you just mentioned, these two tops that are like our friendship outfits where we like, it's a set, kind of the same design, but the, the opposite colors. Mm -hmm. So again, you can wear it. And then we have this ultra, ultra soft, like buttery, like just everyday leggings that are a little bit more basic in there. Um, fit but we are really really into this whole diamond situation that just enhances everybody's body no matter your body shape yeah really you'll really out. see in a lot of our 
clothes coming up for like the next drops, which is crazy to say. <laughs> All of our clothing really focuses on a V shape. So we really took a ton of time. Oh my God. You with a fit model looking at, you know, where every seam hits on the body and how it's angled and shaped so that, you know, we're all about the butts. We're like, we want to have all the girls' butts look really good. <laughs> of um, course. A lot of time in all the shaping and everything, so. Amazing, you guys. Now, what are the retail prices we are going to be finding with Joja? Our most affordable top starts at 74 and our highest price thing in the collection goes up to 104. So you fall somewhere in between based on which you're picking, either the butter or the um, form fit fabric. Love it. Now, also what I loved is I saw your guys' size ranges. You guys are so inclusive to all body types, which I think is absolutely amazing as well. I feel like these days, a lot of brands are now just like doing it because they have to. And for us, that was never the case. We think that every woman is always so beautiful in any shape or size, even ethnicity. And we really wanted everyone to be able to wear our clothes and not have to ask us, hey, can you guys please please make this size? We just wanted to come out with it already available. What is some of your best advice, Jasmine and Josephine, for the fans and viewers that want to get into business with their best friend? I think the best advice, I mean, I know for us, what works is communication. Yes. Um, we're never afraid to tell each other like, oh, you know, you did this wrong or you did this wrong. And we're always really good with any time we're talking to someone, we, you know, if we have an issue or we don't agree with something that someone's saying, we come back to each other after and we're like, what did you think about that? <laughs> and yeah. we really just like, I mean, it's, it's, it's almost an unnatural way that we're able to work together. <laughs> Um, but it's also fun because we are very like yin and yang. Like we're completely different girls, which maybe is what makes it work for us. I think so. And I think the fact that we, like we're saying there's so much respect and like sometimes even if I don't agree with what Jasmine's going, I'm like, okay, let's let's work on this idea. Let's see where we're taking it. And sometimes I've been surprised because I couldn't imagine where she was going with this and opposite. And I think like she's saying the respect that when, if ever we're in a meeting or we're somewhere, the negativity we keep in house, like, hey, I didn't agree what you were saying there and like constantly giving each other this feedback so we can grow together. And I think just like the honesty of just like, hey, I'm not cool with that or that made me feel this way. It's like that open dialogue is just super important. I think us also being workout partners for the last, I don't know, five years, <laughs> six years of our lives has been, has taught us to really be or hold each other accountable. Jasmine, Josephine, being well-known supermodels, like I've said, and personally, some of my favorite Victoria's Secret models, I wanna know, before you became Victoria's Secret models, before you became supermodels, who are some of your favorite role models that you've looked up to in the industry? I mean, growing up in Denmark, I was a massive fan of Helena Christensen. She was the first angel from my part of the world, I mean, my country, and just seeing how she turned her name like into this household, um, entity and like now she's a full-time photographer she has a brand like she is the face of so many things and she's still killing it and she's what yeah she's waiting she's for killing it <laughs> for me as a young girl it was Tyra Banks of course because she was the one that I looked up to and also I loved how she did her talk show and all that fun stuff and kind of went beyond like she was saying Helena Christensen but went beyond being a model <laughs> everyone at home make sure you guys are going to shop Joja out soon on joja.com. Jasmine and Josephine, what an absolute honor. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you guys. <laughs>